Well, good afternoon, Christy. My name is Lizzie Main from Pilates Isle of Man on East Quay in Peel. I mean, basically, the, the East Quay project um, began last September, September 2022. Um, at the time, there was a lot of objection to it from some of the businesses and members of the public because of the impact that the project itself would be having on the businesses and the long-term effect. Um, long-term effect being they've removed all the parking from the quay that runs basically from the Black Dog up to the House of Mananan. And, have, um, and you have noticed the difference yourself, though, haven't you, have. to an extent? We have, yes. The, the footfall is significantly down. Um, you know, c- Customers are choosing... Um, whether to make the journey in Peel and run the risk of not being able to park or not. Um, My uh, online presence is is higher because some people are choosing not to make that journey. So what we have found, certainly since they moved up to our end of the quay in January, what we found is that because you don't know from week to week where the access will be, people are actually now deciding it's not worth the hassle. So we've had to do what we can do to make it worth coming all the way um, from wherever you've come from, whether that be putting on more classes, which is what I've had to do. I've had to put on more classes to facilitate the shortfall. Because I suppose um, what, pe- what people might not realise is, it, you know, it, people are thinking, oh, it, it's just parking, you can park a little bit further away. But actually, mm. you have clients who need to be closer <laughs> to your venue. I have, I have, Christy, you're absolutely right. I've got clients who travel to me from all corners of the island, um, some of which are very active and are quite capable of walking, perhaps from Fenella Beach down to East Quay. Um, but I've also got some clients who have got significant mobility issues. And by coming to me, it's enabling them to live their lives, that they can continue doing what they need to do because... They are doing that bit of exercise. And equally, I might be the only person some people see during the course of the week. So for them, it's a social thing that they need to come out. But if you've got a mobility scooter or a walking frame or you've got an underlying um, condition that perhaps isn't visible, being made to park a heck of a long way away from where you're going to do your exercise is already enough of an effort. Getting out of bed might be the first effort. Mm -hmm. Getting into the car might be the next major hurdle. And then you arrive in Peel and perhaps a lorry is parked in the only disabled space that is available on East Quay. That's not going to be helpful. And this is what we've been dealing with since January. Mm -hmm. And certainly I've got a, a number of clients who are coming from the north of the island who actually just last week said to me, no, we've had enough. We just can't do it anymore. And that's it. That's their only opportunity to do exercise, to in- promote their good health is just lost, lost from them. And I think it's, it's destroying. It's destroying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you, you were saying to me as well that obviously this is, is having an impact on you financially, I'm sure, because you're, you're yeah. losing certain yeah. clients. Yes, absolutely it is. And what I've had to do, I've had to think outside of my current working program and I've taken on additional contracts. I've taken on a government contract to provide classes for government workers to make up for that shortfall, which means I'm now traveling outside of Peel myself to deliver exercise classes just to make up that difference. And maybe the reason why I've been poorly now is because I'm putting my body under a lot of additional strain. Um, You know, it's it's difficult, but you do what you do to keep your business going. And it's always been about the people um, and the people that I help and the people that I work with. So I want to continue doing that. And if I have to come out of field to do it, well, then that's what I'll have to do. And Lizzie, one of the things which people will know you for if they've been even within 100 metres of you is your positivity <laughs> and your bubbly nature. I mean, it just oh, does. Yes. It does shine. It really does. And you've managed to turn this around into being something positive because you've actually got a really good relationship with the workers down there, haven't I have. you? I have. I have, actually. I mean, it, when all this, this sort of started, I mean, and don't forget, Christy, we went through this in May 2020 when we were reopening at the end of lockdown. Um, we actually had East Key dug up then as well. 
So we've been through this once before and the contractors then were the same contractors that we have now. So I'd already established a working relationship with them. Um, And the first thing they said to me in January this year was, we will do what we can do to minimise the impact upon you. But you know, we know it's going to be really hard. Mm. So from day one, I've had an open dialogue with the boys, as I call them. (laughs) Um, (laughs) The boys. I've had an open dialogue with them. I talk to them every single day. They know my teaching timetable off the back of their hands. They know that come half past nine in the morning, they have to be quiet. They move a bit further along. Um, they then know that I've got a little bit of a gap between classes and they'll drill away like Billy O. <laughs> and then they disappear for a bit and then they come back. And that's how it's gone on since January. And they have been absolutely fantastic. I mean, I tease them and they tease me. And um, and we just we've just got on with it, actually. And I know in the past fortnight... They've actually had an awful lot of flack from members of the public and other business owners on the quay who've not been supportive of this final phase, which is the worst bit. Everybody knew this was going to be the worst bit. I haven't actually got a pavement outside my premises at all at the moment. I've got a nice big hole that you have to leap over to get in. Um, And I I think they're contractors at the end of the day and they're there to do a job. Um, and if we want to take it out on anybody, it's the people who propose the job in the first place. Mm. But you so said as well, need... you said as well mm. that um, the, the workers have even been in, in, the, in the sort of when it's first started, they were helping some of your clients even to oh get to gosh. your door. <laughs> yes, yes, we had <laughs> we had a very funny occasion. I, I have one class in my in my working week, my Thursday morning class, which is a, a seated exercise class. Um, Pilates based seated class and you can you know some of those people they 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 do have difficulty coming along the quay and we didn't have a a space anywhere nearby for them to park so there was there was one poor lady who was hanging on to the Harris fencing for dear life with a (laughs) with a construction worker carrying her handbag followed by a Robinson's delivery man offering her a ride in his trolley and that's the (laughs) And that's the sort of thing that's been going on. And we just had to laugh, Christy, because, you know, what else would you do? But the, the, the lads have been amazing, particularly on that class, where they've stopped what they're doing. They've had a little look around. Who needs help? Where can we put somebody's car? How can we get them in? They don't have to do that, but they've done it. Aww. And they've done it willingly. Um, you know, if we've had a crossword, it's only been perhaps... The odd one where they, my water was cut off one morning, and it, it, it wasn't the fault of the construction workers, it was utilities. And I did say, who do I ring? And the man said, it would be me, because I forgot to dial before I dig. And, you know, these things happen. <laughs> we just laugh. You know, oh, and and you've, um, you've, you're even turning it into more of a positive oh because you're, God, now, you're yes. going to get them involved in a class. I am. So providing I test negative tomorrow, this is the crux of it all, um, we, we've we been admiring the pavement that they've put down outside because they've been very thoughtful and they've provided pink pavement to go with my corporate colours, which are pink. So that's really nice of them. <laughs> and I, a couple of weeks ago, I, I teased them about it was about time they did some exercise, proper exercise. And, uh, and this went on until I actually got them to agree to take part in a standing exercise class with me on the pink pavement on Wednesday morning at 12 o'clock. Now, not only is it going to be the construction workers, but it will be members of the DOI, MHK, harbour staff, and my clients. And we're hoping some of the commissioners and maybe some of the other business owners will join in. And we thought, you know, we might as well do it for something. So we're going to do it for the new um, Western Men in Sheds charity that's been formed in Peel, which is very much close to what I do. It's encouraging a community atmosphere where people can share skills, share ideas, share friendship, um, and promote active lifestyles. So um, that's what we're doing it for, Christy. So you're very welcome to come and join us. This sounds so <laughs> glorious. So if anyone's anyone listening, yeah. <laughs> so, you, so we're sort of open to anyone that might want to come down and take part. Open to 
absolutely anybody. I mean, everybody knows I've done lots of open air classes in the past, some rather huge, some not so huge. Um, and we'll be outside. We'll be on the key. We're going to do some standing stretching classes, uh, exercises to start with. Then I'm going to get the boys to do some exercises using the exercise chairs, which should be very amusing. <laughs> and um, hard hats on. And we're going to do two little dance routines. Um, but I'm not telling anybody what the music is yet. I'm, I'm um, really, I'm picturing you, you can leave your hat on. Not but... no, it's, not, it's not the full Monty. It's not the full Monty. Good, just checking. Already, and I said, I'm not doing pelvic floor work with you lot doing the full Monty. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so that's what it's going to be. And it'll be 15 minutes maximum. That sounds amazing. Sunshine. What time is this happening, yeah. Lizzie? 12 o'clock till 12.15 this Wednesday morning. And if we can ask Kirsty Pendlebury at the weather station, if she could just make sure the weather's fantastic, that would be <laughs> that would be wonderful. Um, well, it's yeah. looking OK so far. So everything <laughs> crossed for you. And what a wonderful way to turn something that has been clearly very yeah. tricky and frustrating for you into a it real has. positive, joyful moment. I'm, I'm yeah. so excited about it for you. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for helping to promote it. And we just want to have a bit of fun. And um, and I must remind the poor Kerry boys, they've got to go and have their ice cream before the event. <laughs> Just they know what I'm referring to. Lizzie, where can people find out more about, about your Pilates? They, about my Pilates, they can go onto my website, which is very simple, all the W's, and, and it's pilatesisleofman.co.uk. Uh, um, saving that onto the Facebook, uh, all the socials, still Pilates Isle of Man, same name. And uh, other than that, just come down and see me one day. I'm on East Key, right next to the Boatyard restaurant, a little bit further along from Chris Franklin in the creek. And that's where I am. And you are open, despite the fact there's a hole outside the door. I am open. I'm open. I've got a nice big sign now. Yes, I'm open, despite the hole and everything else. Yeah, I'm open. (laughs) 